according to de broglie the wavelength lambda is equal to h by p v have h by p v have now uh, this uh, momentum p is equal to we have already m into v now substituting this uh, de broglie's wavelength into this equation then 2 pi r n is equal to n into lambda value h by m v here this v n is the uh, speed of the electron now by this we can write uh, this m v n uh, 2 bringing to this side and 2 pi to this side then we'll get m v n r n is equal to n h by 2 pi this is the Bohr's uh, second postulates the angular momentum of an electron is equal to the integral multiple of h by 2 pi where h is the Planck's constant this proved by the de Broglie and explained uh, explained by the de Broglie and here uh, this Bohr's atomic model have some uh, drawbacks that is this Bohr's atomic model is applicable only for uh, these are the drawbacks this uh, de uh, Bohr's atomic model is applicable only for the uh, single atom electron that is a uh, hydrogen atom only for the hydrogen atom and uh, this is also applicable for the singly single singly ionized ionized helium and also it is uh, applicable for the doubly ionized doubly ionized lithium for these atoms only this Bohr's atomic model is applicable and uh, we can get the spectral lines and uh, here uh, for this uh, spectral lines we are getting the spectral lines and uh, some of these uh, spectral lines having the more intensity and some are having less intensity why we have this uh, less intensity for the spectral lines and why we have more intensity for the spectral lines is not uh, explained by the Bohr's atomic model and this Bohr's atomic model is uh, not applicable for the multi electron system for the multi electron system it is uh, not applicable it is only applicable for the single electron system like a uh, hydrogen or singly ionized helium or doubly ionized lithium these are the some drawbacks for the Bohr's atomic model. 